Hi guys, good morning. Today is Thursday. It's nine o'clock. It's really late for me to be still laying in bed, honestly, but day two of my time of the month, my friend is visiting me right now. I have really bad cramps and sometimes you just need to lay in bed in the morning. Sometimes you just need to lay in bed and you need to relax. So I'm going to get up soon though and make some coffee and well, what I mean soon, I mean like in five minutes because I just got really hungry. I'm going to make some coffee and I'm going to make some breakfast. So I just thought we could do like a little weekend-ish vlog and see where this goes. Let's see. Um, but anyways, so I did the Tan Lux tanning drops last Sunday. Today is Thursday, so that's been... Yes, I still use my hands to count. Five days? Is that five days? Yeah, five days. Um, it's been five days and I had the worst ever. Oh my god, my back is in so much pain right now. I had the worst freaking tanning spot right here, like in between this finger and this finger. Actually, in between all my fingers, it was pretty bad. But like brown, horrible, horrible tanning spot that was not coming off. And I wash my hands a million times a day. I shower, obviously. I tried doing warm water with lemon and scrubbing it like it was not coming off. Then, ding, 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 I had the idea that I've read about before of using the magic eraser and amazing, it came off. So, <laughs> there, ow, um, it came off, but I did it on these two spots on the back of my arms and now I have, I, it looks like a welt. Like only me. Why would why did I do that? So I would say if you have self tanner that you're trying to get off like on the palm of your hands or on the top of your hands, yes, use the magic eraser, but don't use it on your body because I don't know what's in it and I have two huge red marks on both back of my arms. Um also I went to the dentist on Tuesday, got my teeth cleaned and I whitened my teeth that night and I feel like that's the best time to whiten your teeth, honestly after you go to the dentist because there's no shit on them like they're all clean no tartar no tartar always reminds me of tartar sauce um there's no shit on your teeth so it's the best time so i think i'm gonna whiten my teeth i whiten my teeth on what day did i go tuesday i'm gonna whiten them again today or tomorrow and then i'll probably be good for the next few months oh my god my skin my skin is horrible on my period like horrible my hormones are like tsh, tsh, tsh. but i'm gonna get up and go make some coffee and breakfast so let's go do you want your food 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 okay um i also was really lazy last night and only self tanned the top half of my body i didn't do my legs and it's honestly quite scary Ooh, I cut that bad, but perfect little avocado. And I've been into this creamer, the Chobani vanilla coffee creamer. Honestly, I got it because I thought it was gonna be like healthier than this one. The This is the one I usually use, the Coffee Mate Natural Bliss in vanilla, but I read the back and they're literally the same. I think, this one says no artificial flavors, no artificial sweeteners, only natural ingredients, which I read or I was watching someone's video. Um, who was I watching? What's her name? Oh, Mona. She was on Shaws of Sunset. Sorry, you can't see me talking. I was watching Mona on Shaws of Sunset. She had, um, or she was on Shaws of Sunset. Her brother's on there now. But I was watching her Instagram and she went to, um, I think, pharmaceutical school. She was a pharmacist, I think. But she does this really cool, like, series on her Instagram and her YouTube where she says, um, like, she brings up, like, popular items like coffee creamers and basically says, like, what's actually healthy and what's not healthy because sometimes things can say only natural ingredients, but then you actually read the ingredients and none of them are natural. But... Um, oh, no, no. okay so this is literally they're literally the same thing like the ingredients are exactly the same it's just I think a matter of taste which one I like better um but yeah anyways she does like the it's called I think she calls it this or that I need to get like a stand or something it's like this or that hi you want your food 
he's like please feed me um <laughs> it's like this or that and it's basically she's comparing like a popular like say she's comparing dave's bread to um oral wheat wheat bread and she's explaining which one get out of my ass she's explaining which one <laughs> which one is um actually healthier no matter what the label says anyways that was my spiel you guys should watch those videos they're kind of interesting but let's just go god i hate when i do that when there's two open i guess i'll just use this one yum 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 perfect color for me I put too much creamer in my coffee yesterday and it was like white. It's a little too sweet for my liking. Okay. Mm. 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 Oh, I am puffy this morning. Oh, hi guys. Okay, so it's 2.27. We're ready to never film a try on haul on day two of my period when I'm like bloated and gross. So confusing. But um, I'm going to pick up Sunny right now. I want to show you guys my outfit. It's really cute. It's from Aritzia. It's like a matching thermal zip little crop jacket and matching shorts. But really cute. But yeah, we're going to head. It's hot right now. I need to, I don't, ask me why I'm in a thermal jacket when it's warm outside, but it's actually really thin. It's nice. Um, but gonna go get something to eat and pick up Sunny. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's my teddy bear. It's my teddy bear. It's like, please, okay. I need to get him a water cup. Ow! Ridiculousness. Welcome to Friday night. I'm waxing my eyebrows right now. I actually did my upper lip inside my nose and right here. We want to be hairless. We want to be bald. I also got my nails done tonight when I got off. I did Mod About You, Three Coats by OPI. Oh my god, what is up with my pinky? Do I have a deformed pinky? Is that an iPhone pinky? What's going on? But yeah, Mod About You. I haven't done that in so long. But this is my Friday night. Um... I'm gonna wax my eyebrows. Let me pull this off. Ow. I'm using hard wax. Nothing more satisfying than ripping hair off your face. Honestly, I've just come to the conclusion that I like to do my own eyebrows. Or I like to have my mom do them. Other than that, I don't want to touch them. Um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I'm running late, so I have to go through this fast, but I want to show you guys my outfit because I feel so cute right now. I haven't got dressed up in so long. This dress is from Revolve. The brand is Lovers and Friends. It has like a cute little tie. Then I'm wearing my Dior sandals. It's really cute. It's like a cute little midi dress. And then I did my makeup and hair. I haven't got ready in so long. I'll see you guys. Hi guys. Okay, I'm back. If there is a Restoration Hardware rooftop near you, whoever's watching this, you need to go. The most beautiful restaurant I've literally ever been to. So pretty. I'll try and insert, I didn't take any like videos there, sorry. I'll try and insert some little clips, but so beautiful. I would go there again like 10 times. I'm trying to figure out what the sun's, oh maybe that's better. Um. If there is any Restoration Hardware rooftops near you, you guys need to go. It was beautiful, but I wanted to show you guys after lunch. I got these Dior sunglasses. I am not a sunglass girl. I own one pair of sunglasses, and they are like gold Bravians, which is like the plain aviators. I got these Dior sunglasses. They just got them yesterday. Let's see what they look like. chic she's chic she's pretty she's bomb so they say like the cd in gold on the side and they're like the flat top style i am so into them i love like the flat top style if you have like a long face like me flat top looks really good i feel like it's kind of tricky this style like it can look a little boyish but if you get like the right pair they look really good 
so I'm excited. I feel like the lighting is kind of weird. You guys can't really see like better. So weird. But yeah, I'm going to see my friend Katie right now. I'm actually parked outside of her house. I have to pee so bad. I'm gonna see her. She's actually moving to Nashville in like a few weeks. So I'm actually gonna be visiting her in August and I will definitely do like a Nashville vlog because I've never been there and I'm excited. Um, so yeah, I maybe I'll bring my camera in so you guys can meet her. But I've been friends with Katie since literally the sixth grade. So I have some drinks. We're gonna go to this place called Rooftop, another rooftop bar. Doing a lot of rooftops today. Honestly, I don't go out a lot, so I feel like when I do, I'm like, all right, how many things can I fit in to this outing? Oh my God, I'm loving my sunglasses. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I have a bone to pick with Kim Kardashian because this is her lip liner and the cap does not stay on like at all i lost the cap yesterday and i'm like so upset i've only used the lip liner a few times so we're moving real slow today had a few drinks and we are going to chill the rest of the day but i thought i would do a little vlogging today a little vlogging tomorrow i'm so tired i napped earlier from i think i took like a two hour nap and I just get this that's the reason why I've never loved to nap because I feel like I wake up and I'm so discombobulated and like the rest of my day is just Done I can't do anything Um, but I think I'm gonna go tomorrow when it opens I'm gonna go to Sephora and pick up like a ton of new makeup because I Feel like I need to just revamp my makeup and how I do my makeup um, and I've been noticing that picture makeup and how makeup photographs on pictures is so different than what it relates to in real life like i'm so used to like a natural look and sometimes in pictures you just need to like amp up your makeup just a bit so oh my god it's hot as fuck i'm gonna do that tomorrow so equinox used to be over there but there's like a mendocino farms William Sonoma, Sunglass Hut, and then Sephora's up here. And then this Della Rosa place. Pizza, pasta. Let's go to Sephora. Let's see what we got. Okay, I'll show you guys what I picked up from Sephora today. I got some goods. Okay. First things first. This. The Sol de Janeiro. Oh, if this doesn't focus, I'm going to freak out. Okay, maybe I need to keep it farther away. Okay, the Sol de Janeiro Bom Dia. Bom Dia. Bright cream. It's in this, like, orangey, reddish package it's new smells so good so it says on here this camera really like doesn't want to focus like why are you focusing on the blanket and not on the product i am so confused okay so this says it is a revital or <laughs> revitalizing retexturizing body cream that nourishes as it reveals healthier smoother brighter looking skin and there is infused with fruit AHAs and vitamin C. Love vitamin C for face and body. It brightens everything up, which is really nice. Trying to open this with one hand is impossible. Hold on. So. Oh my god. Not only is the texture of it like whipped and soft and delicious and yummy. The smell is to die for. I'm very, very picky with scents. I honestly don't 
like the original scent of Sol de Janeiro. It's okay, like the bum bum cream, it's okay. I get why people like it, it's just not my cup of tea. But this I had to get, I just got the smaller one just to see, cause you know how lotions and scents and everything, they definitely can smell different in the package. Oh my God, am I not doing that right? Um, they smell different in the package than they do um, on your actual skin. So that's why I got the smaller one, just to try to see how I like it. Cause I am so picky with smells. But to me, when it, when I smell it in the jar, it smells delicious. So I got that in the small one. Um, this actually was 100 points. I got it. I never use my points. I have like three scrillion points. But it's a Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. It's a mini version. Um, I have the lip liner and I actually only have one lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Kim KKW one. So I'm excited to try the Pillow Talk. I'll probably pair it with the lip liner and see how it looks. But it's mini. I need like three hands but it's very very tiny but I'm excited to try it it looks a little bit darker than a typical lipstick that I would use which I don't mind because I feel like I'm kind of in the market for a little bit of a darker lipstick I feel like all my lipsticks are like nudish white wow the autofocus on that ca this camera is literally horrendous. I feel like you have to be farther back. Okay, so this is the Pillow Talk lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the, it was 100 points, so I got it for free in the, um, you know, the little section by the front. The VIB, I don't even know what they call it, the VIB point section where you get shit for free. So I got this. It's the Pillow Talk lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. It's a mini, but it's really cute. It'll be good to try. Got that for 100 points. That's literally, I think, the second thing I've ever got from that little area because I never like anything. So I got that. And then I got the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Soft Brown. That's the one I've used this before. I got, I've never tried this, so I got the mini just to try. I got the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk um, Push Up Lashes Instant Volume Length and 24 Hour Lift Effect Volume Mascara. I'm really excited to try this. I hear a lot of people like this. Um, I've been using the same mascara since I was literally, since I've been using mascara. I feel like I use the Orange Lash Blast Volume Mascara from CoverGirl. But I'm kind of just in the market to try something new. I want something that my eyelashes grow down. So I definitely am looking for something that is... Oh my god, hopefully I didn't have my hand over the microphone. Or is there even a microphone on here? Like the... I don't know. <laughs> hopefully you guys can hear me. But it's... Um, I've been in the market to try something new. My eyelashes grow down. So... I'm excited to try this because I've heard really good things about it. It says it pushes up your lashes for 24 hours. Not like I'm gonna have mascara on for 24 hours, but I'm excited to see what it does. I just got the mini version, so I'm gonna try this probably on Thursday, and I'll let you guys know how I like it. The next thing I got is the NARS Saf, Saf, <laughs> Soft Matte Complete Foundation. And this, I'm actually, I actually got it. So I got it in shade medium three, which is Stromboli. I have no idea if I'm saying that correctly. Probably not. But I actually got this because the girl recommended it to me. I want to try a foundation. You guys know me. I don't really wear foundation. The only foundation I actually have is the Cosmetic CC Cream. And honestly, that's very heavy. Like it's very full coverage. And it feels really heavy on my face. And I haven't been into it. So I was wanting to try something that was a little bit more lightweight but still gave me good coverage like for pictures and um, videos and whatnot just like to try it out. I don't know. I never try foundation. Um, I actually went in for the NARS like the Radiant one or the Sheer Glow but she recommended this to me but when I left I obviously looked at the reviews on Sephora and some people were saying that it made their pores look bigger and it settled into fine lines so I don't know we'll see I'll give it a shot I'm gonna try it on Thursday and we'll see how it works but I'm gonna do it with the hourglass powder that I just recently got I'm gonna try it with that so I'll let you guys know what I think but I got it in medium three stromboli and then the last thing I got was a restock the Laneige lip sticking mask in vanilla my favorite lip stuff but yeah that's it out from Sephora not that bad um because two of the things I got were mini one thing was free the most expensive thing was probably the foundation but i'll let you guys know how i like the foundation and the mascara because those are like the two new things that i'm trying this i'll let you guys know how it wears on the skin but you guys have to go and store and smell this because it smells delicious 
and yeah so i'll see you guys in a little bit i was gonna go to trader joe's but honestly i really don't feel like it i feel like i could literally take a nap right now but i'm not going to but i feel like i could so i'm just gonna chill i have to do some things some cleaning things like i need to put a load in the laundry and just little shit so i'll see you guys in a little bit <laughs> 